Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Devon Strader makes claims Jen Tran did not select him initially. In a recent Instagram post, Devon Strader claims he wasn't Bachelorette Jen Tran's first pick. He claims in the video that he wants to set the record straight and explain that things are not exactly how his ex has depicted them. He originally posted numerous screenshots of text communications between himself and Jen in an attempt to clear his name. He asserted that he wasn't the person she truly wanted to be with in the midst of everything. Continue reading to learn more. Devin Strader said in a lengthy Instagram video that he wasn't even Bachelorette Jen Tran's top pick. It seems to him that she did not initially choose him after seeing the show again. He claimed that he had to witness her clearly wanting to select someone else. I had to clearly watch myself play second to someone else, Devon remarked. Her initial pick wasn't me. Devon was obviously talking about Marcus Schauberg, the runner-up. He thinks Jen had deeper feelings for Marcus. She sent Marcus home before to the last row ceremony since he wasn't interested in getting engaged. Additionally, he said he did not blame her for her affections for Marcus. He asserts, nonetheless, that he was unaware of it until their breakup. We've moved on from that, Devon stated. I don't hold it against her, she had feelings for Marcus. Devon was more convinced that Jen and Marcus's engagement had to cease after witnessing their love story unfold on TV. Devon Strader further claims that his efforts were never sufficient, regardless of the situation. From the beginning of their relationship, he and Jen Tran had problems. He disputes her assertion that he began to distance himself from her after they departed Hawaii. He shared private texts with Jen, which he regrets sharing, in an attempt to clear his name. Devon changed the original video after initially making it available on Tuesday, removing some of the private content. Although he had thought the video would help clear his record, it appeared to have the opposite effect as fans attacked him for disclosing personal details. In the end, Devon expressed regret and stated he simply wanted to resume his normal life while continuing to accept responsibility for his deeds. Quarterly Roses, which four contestants remain in Joey Grazia Day's final four on The Bachelor. The Bachelor Nation was glued to their screens weeks before The Bachelor's 28th season finale, eager to find out who would get to accompany Joey Grazia Day on a hometown date. With the most contestants in the show's 22-year history, the Bachelor's 28th season is already creating history. This year, a season full of thrills, drama, and romance begins on the first night as 32 ladies arrive at the estate. The following is a list of the four women who went on hometown dates with Joey Grazia Day. According to her cast biography on ABC.com, she loves ice cream, likes to sing in her car at the top of her lungs, and aspires to become a best-selling author. Daisy views her parents' marriage, which lasted more than 30 years, as the blueprint for the kind of love she wants for herself. Whether Joey Grazia Day is the guy of her dreams remains to be seen, she describes herself as looking for a partner who is loyal, adventurous, and family-oriented, and will be there for her no matter what. Daisy is one of the two finalists for the 28th season of the show. The 25-year-old junior project manager Kelsey Anderson hails from New Orleans, Louisiana. Growing up, the Southern Belle mostly attended a U.S. military installation in Germany. In addition to enjoying picnics with friends, Kelsey apparently only needs 12 hours to plan an international getaway and speculates about what life would be like without social media. Kelsey takes pride in her gift-giving abilities and likes making thoughtful gifts for her partner when she's in love are examples of her love languages. A man with a great sense of humor who's understanding and who loves giving back as much as she does is what Kelsey is searching for, and she hopes to start her own nonprofit one day with this man. Similar to Daisy, Kelsey has advanced to the last two candidates Joey Grazia Day will select from in the season finale of The Bachelor. Maria Jorges, 29, is a Kleinbug, Ontario native, who works as an executive assistant. Despite her horror movie obsession, she is hoping that Joey won't leave her ghosted. Maria's hobbies include everything from disposable camera photo shoots, to psychic readings, to black belt taekwondo karate. She supposedly enjoys a big plate of spaghetti, 
but she also dreams of eating sushi in Japan someday. So done with short-term flings and situationships, the Canadian candidate says, adding that she's ready to settle down with the right guy. After the hometown visits in week 8, Maria was declared eliminated. ICU nurse Rachel Nance, 26, is a native of Honolulu, Hawaii. There is nothing better than a Hawaiian Christmas, according to her, and she intends to bond with Joey over her love of Hawaiian food and culture. Rachel enjoys reading Jane Austen novels, spending time with her big, tight-knit family, and watching Friends episodes when she's not working at the hospital. It is said that she is terrified of frogs and that her signature look growing up involved Bermuda shorts and feather earrings. Rachel is looking for an honest, gentle, and supportive man, and she's excited to start a family of her own. We hope Joey Grazia Day turns out to be the man she wants to enjoy the journey of life, with. During the Bachelor's ninth week, Rachel was eliminated. Hometown dates hold great significance in the Bachelor series. Viewers will have the opportunity to see behind the scenes of the competitors' lives beyond the mansion and reality TV bubble in which they have been residing for the past few months. The Bachelor will also get to know the relatives and friends of the four ladies competing for his heart in addition to a rose. According to reports, Joey Grazia Day reportedly went on four hometown dates with his season's final four hopefuls. Daisy Kent was his first date from his hometown. The two traveled to her childhood home in the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota, even though Kent had been living and working in San Diego for the past few years. He went on a second date with Kelsey Anderson in his hometown. Joey had the opportunity to tour the Big Easy, or New Orleans, Louisiana, with Kelsey. On Joey's third date in her hometown, Rachel Nance took her somewhere they'd been before. While Joey moved from Pennsylvania to the islands, Rachel is a native Hawaiian. Whereas Joey works at a resort on Kauai, Rachel resides and works in Honolulu on the big island of Oahu. Joey's fourth date in her hometown required a trip up north and away from the warm weather. He prepared his passport and traveled to Kleinburg, Ontario, Canada to meet Maria Jorges and her family. V. Michelle Young hints about possibly becoming engaged to her partner Jack Leas, name it premonition. Fans of Bachelor Nation witnessed former Bachelorette Michelle Young search for love during seasons 25 and 18 of The Bachelorette. Even though Michelle's on-screen romance didn't end well, she has been sharing her dating experiences on social media for the past year. She gave her romance with partner Jack Leas a strong start in October of last year. The two have been together for a long time, Michelle disclosed earlier this year that they moved in together. Michelle is now hinting that the two might be preparing to move their relationship forward significantly.